told um dating at the age of 50 and above and it's not only limited to that age actually it's actually it's for people who have been around the block enough times you know if you're in your 40s 45 35 whatever age you start dating after coming out of a long-term relationship that's what we're going to talk about today afternoon wherever you are thank you so much for stopping by my channel thank you for clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so that you can be alerted when I upload new videos so guys in this channel we talk about all things uh, that make you and turn you into the best version of yourself that could be personal development uh, self-growth beauty um, dating and all the good stuff that you know when you've reached a certain age in your life you want to experience and you probably had no clue because you had different things going on in your life and now this is your time this is the channel to experience that so guys without much further ado let's get on with the video so today's video as you've seen from the title is titled um dating at the age of 50 and above and it's not only limited to that age actually it's actually it's for people who have been around the block enough times you know if you're in your 40s 45 35 whatever age you start dating after coming out of a long-term relationship that's what we're going to talk about today so anyway so this is my experience right i have nothing uh planned normally i like i like to write down if i'm giving tips or anything but i'm actually just going to talk to you guys about my own experiences of dating at the age of uh, 50 where i am right now so um i have been from i come from uh, i have so much to say that my words are just getting minced in my mouth anyway I was in a long-term relationship for about 18 years on and off with a guy and um, it ended about roughly about three years ago and stuff so yeah three years ago but it was uh, eventually was a mutual um, a decision to end it and that was fine but um, what I did is I took some time out uh, as I've mentioned in some of my videos that you really need to take some time out for yourself before you start um, dating because you need to be certain about what it is you want and you also need to know and reflect about why your last relationship ended and you know how it lasted that long and all that stuff that all the work that you need to do before you can actually put yourself out there and start dating again so I did that I took a year off and did that and um, actually that year was very busy so dating was completely out of uh, out of my um, radar but anyway so i did that well at least i thought i did you will see from there if you continue watching this you'll see what i mean anyway so when i thought mm, i'm ready that was around um 2019 end of uh, 2019 december just before we went into uh, the situations that we're in right now and i was at a party a new year's party and there were some few singles there and stuff uh, and uh, you know we're talking about dating and stuff like that and they kind of mentioned that you should try the dating apps I'm like okay why not you know why not you know I mean uh, it seems to be the new normal the new thing people are doing so why not so I registered in one of the apps and um, I got a couple of dates there and um, actually had a date that lasted a, about five well a date a fling let's call it a situation ship that lasted about four or five months and in that situation ship I just got to learn so much about me so much like how I was not ready for this uh, dating uh, stuff because what I did when I was in this situation ship I was doing kind of like you know like as if it's a relationship you know it's just I did not know what I was doing I was just it's like I literally just turned it into another relationship without doing all the stuff that I've talked about in my other videos, you know, dating a lot of people, you know, the minute I'd go on a date with one person and I kind of liked them, this was at the beginning of my dating uh, uh, journey, to, uh, you know, three years ago, two years ago rather, I would cancel out everybody else and I'd just focus on this one person. And what I learned is that when, and I think it's on one of my videos, is that 
you should date a lot more people because dating is kind of like collecting data for, for yourself and seeing who's your potential person, who you're going to, you know, commit to and all that. But I was just focused on this one person, which meant that everything was on him. And I, and I deleted all my apps, I deleted my profile so I can just, uh, uh, you know, focus on him. Little did I know that they don't do the same either. You know, they're probably seeing other people, but I learned that later on. So anyway, uh, suffice to say that didn't last long because I started being uh, needy and wanting to be the only one in his life. And if he didn't want to come to me, I'd get angry and all that, that stuff that you shouldn't do. So that's when I realized you're not ready yet, Linda. You're not ready to date right now. And um, go back to the drawing board. Well, you know, so for me, I found it quite challenging to start dating at the age of 50 because first of all, you know, you're meeting people online and I'm old school. I like to, you know, face to face uh, interaction and immediate chemistry or not. But online, you have to build that up and then again, meet each other and then see if you have uh, if you have uh, chemistry. Now, after that incident, I kind of, you know, took time out again to reflect and see and um, I realized that I needed to do some more work which I did uh, I did my own res research I watched a lot of YouTube videos of, of similar kind like mine just to understand you know what is it that I'm, I'm you know I'm doing or what should I be doing I mean, I, I mean I'm 50 years old you know and you haven't been dating for over 18 20 years you need some catching up to do and you need a few points and things to remember and to take note on so I did that and um, now today I can say I'm a bit better, not even a bit better, I'm actually quite better now and I'm, if, I'm going, if I do have a profile on at the moment I've removed it um, as I want to focus on other things that I want to do right now so dating for me I put it out uh, you know, on a back burner, it's still on my, uh, I mean I'm saying if I meet somebody doesn't mean that I will say, oh no, wait, uh, I'm not dating at the moment, I'm, uh, I'm on a break. No, 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 no. What I mean is I'm on a break is I'm not going in there and swiping in and, and putting myself on the dating sites and all that stuff. I am available, obviously, so I'd rather do the face-to-face, -face, the, um, you know, go about my business and if it happens, it happens. But uh, yeah, because um, the world is now opening up, countries are opening up, we're able to go out there, have a drink, you know, visit places and do so many things. There's so much I need to do before I can, you know, start seriously saying, okay, now I need to, you know, start, uh, uh, what's the word, hunting? I don't know. Or we should be, you know, women should be hunted. Put myself out there. Anyway, so yeah, dating at the age of uh, 50 has also another challenge which I also discovered again when I was online uh, when it comes to filling out my profile or the profile um, qualities that I want on the other um, mate that I want to meet. Now this is quite interesting and I'm going to put it out here as a question and maybe you guys can comment below or answer below if you have, if you've done it or if you know, if you have anything to say about it and that is, is it okay to date a younger guy? like really young and when I say really young for me is in their 30s like 36 and the reason I'm saying this is because um, when I do my online profile for the age range of the of the guys that I wanted I want to meet I normally go as young as 45 and even then I'm thinking oh that's young but I'm thinking five years is not too bad so I put 45 to about 60 now I know I know I know but you know that's what I was thinking you know and when the profiles of the people come up I'm like so much to the left I'm swiping so much to the left because I'm like no no because number one I take care of myself, right? Um, I'm 50 and I've been blessed with the genes of my mom. So, you know, aging is kind of, uh, you know, very slow and stuff, which I'm grateful for and thank you. Um, but I see the guys, okay, it's not so much about the looks, it's about the activities and what they do. And for me, I mean, I used to years and years and years, years ago, I used to, do, you know, enjoy the old drink. And if you've seen one of my earlier videos, you know that I stopped drinking for a number of reasons and and anyway that's uh, another video 
So when I see, I can tell somebody who drinks a lot from the pictures that they have. And that for me is already something that we don't have in common. I mean, I'm not going to say that it's a, a no, no completely, but if on your profile, I see that you drink a lot and then on your profile or your wedding, you do things like um, wine tasting or I don't know if you've put that as one of the things that you do, then I'm thinking then that for me already is going to, not going to work. You know and this tend to be a lot older a lot older men above the age of 50 and then they're not very active um, occasionally I'd get a few who were but then I don't know I it just felt like I was much younger I don't know I just didn't look right but anyway so um yeah where was i going with this yes so dating a younger guy so uh, a friend of mine i just a friend of mine actually called invited me over to join her she was out on a with her friend and you uh, and stuff and she was like oh you should come this saturday you know this barbecue and stuff and whatever and she's much younger than me so her age range of dating guys is about 32 to 40 right and on that particular day when she invited me i had just come back from this awful 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 date oh my god this was a nightmare of a date again from online i met this person online and uh, from the profile and the conversations we really clicked you know he liked uh, there's so many things that i liked and stuff and we could talk about all those kind of things you know and also i'm thinking this is going good this is yeah we're clicking on that and stuff we even did a video call if you've seen one of my videos i talk about making sure that you do a video call before you actually uh, go on that date so that seemed to be okayish but you know you know the red later on you realize there are red flags but at that time I was like nah you know maybe he's tired or whatever you know you, you want to give the benefit of the doubt so on the particular date um I haven't mentioned this on any of my videos but I am gonna um you know I'm switching from vegetarian to vegan and stuff so um this person actually also knew that and stuff so in the conversation you're talking about uh, the things you enjoy and the sports you enjoy and he mentioned to me about bullfighting uh, or rather that Spanish uh, bull thing that people do and stuff and then he gave me all the graphic details and bearing in mind he said he said this he said I know you're vegan but you know I want to share with you this sport then you will see it's not such a bad sport and I was like, wait a minute, the bull is going to fight for his life in a death battle. How is he not suffering? I mean, really, I don't care how, which language you explain this to me. The animal is being tortured for your pleasure. It's already mm, horrible. But the fact that he ignored the fact that I was vegan and even after I said, uh, it's not really my cup of tea. And then you still go and try and convince me that it's the bull is not being hurt I mean really so that says to me you didn't listen you're not a good listener you just want to talk and, talk and get your point across regardless of whatever the other person's views are so that for me is already a no-no and then there were so many other signs and I actually talk about this on one of my videos that number the number one sign the number one sign that is a telltale sign on a date if you know that this person is someone you're going to see is how they interact with other people how they interact with other people is so important to bear in mind that you know forget anything else because how he interacts with other people is probably how he's going to interact with you and everyone else around and I didn't like the interaction he had with the waiters he was not looking at them in the eye he was ordering like as if they are just supposed to serve him and then when the bill came you know you know it's a gentleman and stuff like that they handed him the bill he looked at it rolled his eyes like oof and I thought oof, we've only just had two coffees because that's one another thing have a date coffee no dinner, no nothing. This is a classic example of why it's important just to have a coffee date. In fact, maybe just a water would have been perfectly okay for this day. But anyway, so the bill came to about 12 euros. If you're in the States, that's about what? $11 for a coffee, two coffees and, uh, and, a, and a water. I mean, really? He rolled his eyes. That was like, okay, Linda, it's time to go. Anyway, so that date ended as quickly as possible. I, I was done. And uh, I, I, you know, I went home and I was texting my friend. And that's the same day that she had invited me. She had actually te texted me and said, oh, you could come with your dates. You like your date and you guys are clicking. You can come over. So I told her, oh, it's not going to happen and stuff like that. But she insisted I come over and I said, well, I really, you know, is there anybody I can meet there? You know, I don't want to be the 
third um what do they call it when you're the extra person the third person i don't know there's a word for that so no, no 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 there's a guy actually who also would like to meet you and stuff like that so bear in mind my friend is much much younger than me she's a really dear friend of mine soul friend of mine i said oh okay so he's it's, i didn't even ask the age or anything i was like you know what i'm just gonna be surprised you know what now i'm not going to even put any age. after that disastrous date that i had i'm just no even i'm gonna be open so i went there and uh met the met the guy and he is so much younger than me guys so much younger now this is uh, i mean i'm working on that i'm working on accepting or seeing myself in the possibility of dating a much younger guy and when i say much younger guy he is 36 your girl here is 50 51 this year never been there never even thought about never even crossed my mind to even even when i'm on the no i not that i i just i don't know if i can I don't know what the, I need to work on that. I need to do some meditation on that and figure out what it is that makes me wonder whether I can date somebody younger than me, especially like 14 years younger than me. That's, that's quite a bit, huh? that's quite a bit. It's only six years um, um, older than my daughter. My daughter is 30 this year, so you know. But anyway, so anyhow, so yeah, you know, I don't know if there was a click. I mean, I was so busy in my mind about his age that I didn't even notice if there's a click or not. But, uh, you know, he asked for my number, so I gave him his, my number and he gave me his. And we might probably be doing something soon or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm still, the jury's out on that, whether I will date somebody any younger than me, at that young. Comment below if you have, if you're free and open enough to uh, let uh, everybody else know in the community that you have and give me some encouragement tell me Linda it's okay you it doesn't matter I mean you know I do a lot of personal development growth and being living your life and doing you and being you which is my motto do you be you and do everything but sometimes I guess my mind needs to catch up on that I guess we need to catch up on that anyway so yeah so my dating experience at this age of 50 is quite fun I'm enjoying it um, the number one thing is that don't sleep around uh, you can date so many people but sleeping is something personal and um, it's not what I'm doing I'm just enjoying meeting new people who knows uh, you know what will come out of it and stuff I'm not desperately in need of bedroom action so I can hold on and wait on that I've got so many other projects that I'm doing and I'm enjoying my life and it's just gone summer it's summertime now the world's opening up we're stepping out after almost a year and a half of just staying indoors and not really living. So, you know, time to enjoy life and, and, and be, be ourselves and take it all in. So guys, comment below about if you're currently dating or thinking of dating or planning to date or what it is that you do, share with us here. And I will continue to share with you guys my experiences, what I'm going through. Uh, tips that I pick up on dating watch my other videos on tips on how to uh, go dating because these are things I have actually experienced and learned from and did some research as to what other uh, youtubers are saying about them and they all seem to be exactly the same number one when you go online be careful that's number one just be careful um, don't put too much information on on your profile um, use genuine pictures of yourself and especially if you can include some of you of your photos of your hobbies that you do maybe you like horse riding or maybe you or you like uh, walking at the beach or you have a puppy take pictures with your dog you know be real be genuine I know most of the people on some of the apps are not genuine real but you're doing you you're being you so be genuine and be real all right then girls and boys if there are any watching Thank you so much for listening to me talk about dating uh, at this age of 50 and above and I look forward to reading your comments and seeing you on my next video. So bye for now.